All right, y'all, so jumping right into the video, I'm just going to allow the water to run through my hair just to get it um, wet and to just allow my hair to just chill out in the water. Um, I feel my hair thrives the best when it's fully submerged in water or fully wet with water. Then I'm going to go through and detangle my hair with a wide tooth comb and hadn't been combed or detangled or anything in a couple of days, so it's very much needed. Then I'm going in with my Hydrate, I think it's the Hydrate and Repair um, Shampoo from Shea Moisture. I love this line. I really do. Um, it did wonders for my hair. And so I'm just shampooing the roots and some of the the ends. I mean, I know this, there's this whole debate on if you just shampoo the roots or if you shampoo the ends or if you shampoo your whole entire head. Girl, do whatever is best for you. Do whatever you feel like it. I never wash my hair the same way twice. Um, that includes how I shampoo and what products I use. You know, I switch it up. So, girl, wash your head how you want to wash your head. Just long as you wash it. <laughs> and long as you um, rinse out that shampoo, which can be tedious. You know, like, gosh. Then I'm going in with the matching conditioner and I'm just sectioning my hair into two sections and then I'm finger detangling this section as I apply the conditioner, which this conditioner is good for that. It has a, um, a nice little slip to it and it allows my curls to pop a little bit too. Like I said, I have no complaints when it comes to this line. Shea Moisture does the damn thing every time. Like, look at those curls. Yes, ma'am. Then, you know, rinse that conditioner out. Have a whole concert while you add it. Why not? Come through, curls. Yes. Now, this deep conditioner, y'all, run and get it. Run to your nearest drugstore, run to Walmart, run to the hair store. Run and get this conditioner. It's the Manuka Honey Conditioner, if I'm not mistaken. I would definitely have a link down in the description box below. If you get anything from this video, get that deep conditioner. It is the best. It does wonders for my curls. But I'm just going to apply the deep conditioner to each section. I'm um, kind of... Furthermore, detangle or finger detangle while I'm applying the deep conditioner. Y'all, it makes my curls, my hair so soft and my curls pop. It's the best. Like, look at it. I love it. I love it. I'm addicted. I am, I must admit. And then after I apply the deep conditioner, I'm just going to apply um, some shower caps and take a shower. Let that sit and penetrate and that's it. All right, so... I rinsed out the deep conditioner and I just put on this um, microfiber tubey twist, turby twist. You can get it from Walmart, you can get it from the drugstore, whatever. And this is what my curls look right after I take it down. Y'all, look at how my curls look in their natural state. I like really, this is their natural state. There's no need for quotation marks, but like, and then I don't know what I think my hair has grown like so much, girl. I section this off first. I'm gonna clip. Okay, and then split the back and have another clip. Actually, I like to start on this side, so let me just clip this off. And yeah, we can leave this one out because I'm starting on this section first. Like, come through curls. Like, I'm so impressed. So to get started, I'm going to use oh a uh, spray bottle as well. It's just the re it's a little wet, but it's more damp than wet. Just spray that all on the section. And 
and just rake it through with um, my fingers. If you see me looking this way, it's because the mirror is right here. Okay, then I'm going in with my Aunt Jackie's. Hold on. Get it to the top. If anything, okay. You got a little bit. Oh, that may be it. R.I.P. And just oop, break it through. I'm definitely going to have to clean up this floor afterwards. But that's fine. You want to make sure you get each strand. I don't officially separate my sections um, when I'm applying product just because I don't make time for that. I'm gonna use a few drops of my Jamaican black castor oil. I feel like it's another oil mixed in here with my Jamaican black castor oil, but I'm not sure <laughs> which oil it is, but I know Jamaican black castor oil is in here. And I'm just going to write that through and praying hands, smooth it in. Yeah, okay. All right, just get a section just like that. I'm not sure about dimensions or size because I don't do that. And then pump my phone. Two pumps. Rake it in. Like, look what that foam does, honey. So I'm just gonna smooth my hair against the rod, wrap the end, secure the end. Y'all be securing the bag, secure them ends. Keep it tight and keep the tension at the root. That's how you get a smooth root. Roll the ends a couple of times. And then I take mine and I wrap it like this. And then you just fold the end of the rods. These oranges, I may have to fold a couple of times. Because they're so long. And... I missed a piece, but I'm going to put it with the hair on this section. So it's fine. Like you can just chill out for a second. So I'm going to do that again. Just so you all can see. I'm just going to pick a section. We'll pull out a section. I'll pick a section. Clip. Clip the rest. Two pumps of mousse. Right together, get a rod, stretch the hair. Can y'all see? Okay. Roll, secure the ends, and then flip and whoop, secure the ends. Keep the tension and just roll up until it's tight and it don't wanna roll anymore. And then took the ends of the rods. Like so. And I'll just split this section in half and repeat the process, two pumps of mousse. Right that through. Get a rod. Smooth, smooth. You have to comb your hair or finger comb. Cause you know, I don't really do the whole 
that's another video but i'm kind of straying away from comb sometimes like you know you've seen in the video or earlier in the video i did use a comb to detangle my hair but um that was literally the first time i used a comb since i took down my soft locks so like that was the first time in a while secure the ends this section is acting funky. Hold on. Okay. Secure the ends. Secure the ends. And then diagonal twist. Y'all, I'm really hoping this turns out right. And if you're seeing this video, then it means it turned out right or I'm just super brave one. <laughs> now I'm gonna repeat the process on this side and then when I get to the front, I'll come back and show you what's up with that. All right, okay. Like I said, this is what we got so far. Now this section is like, it's less than damp. Like it's still a little wet, but not really. <laughs> but look, the curls still pop though. Ooh, and the way that the blonde, okay, but I'm not going to dye my hair again. I really want to, though. I really want to try, like, ginger or, like, a burgundy or something, but no. Definitely have to take a break from the color because, whew, Jesus. Like, if you didn't know coloring your hair specifically bleaching baby that can mess your hair up so bad so i did have enough aunt jackie's apparently turning the bottle upside down helps remember that and that's a life lesson and just smooth and rake that through the whole section oil Hands. Okay. Okay, we're gonna part here, get that little section out. And then I'm gonna clip out the way two pumps of mousse and two struggle pumps, but it's alright. I got enough. Break it through. Right, tension, pull smooth, tension, secure the ends. And if I didn't say before, you secure the ends by basically wrapping it around the rod and just smoothing them down like that. And then if you have to tuck, do it that way. And you just increase the roll. Remember to keep it tight. Nice and tight because nobody likes anything loose, ladies. Okay. Like so. And then. Let's see. Section it from the back like so. Two pumps of mousse. And if I can, um, all products will be listed down in the description box. And then you just smooth and secure. Smooth and secure. And then you just... Wrap it down. Okay. All right. And now for the last little bit, two pumps. Oh, this is not. That one's gonna have to be redone because it's not tight to my room. 
Okay, smooth and rake. Smooth and rake. You want it as close to the eye, not you. I want mine as close to that part as possible because I want it to be like a fro look and not a separated look. Even though I know I'm gonna have to, it kind of, in my experience, I learned to have that fro look in no part. It's all in how you lay your rods, whatever rods you're using, whether it's flexi rods or perm rods or whatever. It's where you lay it at and how you place it. And also in the fluffing and separating process as well. So secure them ends. And then wrap, 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 wrap. Wrap, wrap it on up. Wait. End came loose. Secure it. And then fold. Fold. Fold it in. Yep. There we go. Okay. So let me fix this one. What I'm going to do is this is the end of. No, this is not the end of the video. This is the end of this part of the video. But I'm just going to sit around, watch Netflix, and wait for this to dry just a little bit before I put on my bonnet and go to bed. But. It's still early, like it's nine o'clock. Yeah, it's just nine o'clock at night. So I'm gonna watch some Netflix, let this dry down a little bit, and then go to bed. And I will see you all in the morning for the takedown. All right, guys, so it's the next morning, and this is what I got. Um, this is much makeup I'm wearing today. I know y'all probably expect me to come with a full beat, but it's too early. I'm running late. Nobody has time for that. So just lashes and lip gloss. So let me... I realized last night why I don't prefer flex rods over perm rods. And it's because sometimes I feel like it takes my flexi rods just a little bit longer to dry. And I'm guessing, well, technically they've been done. I got to finish around eight or nine or something last night. So, and it's almost 10 this morning. It's 9.45 now. So, they've had almost, if not 12 hours to dry. So, I'm trying to just feel to make sure they're dry. But let's begin the takedown process. So, all you do is you get your ride. You unfold one end, you get the other end, and unfold it, stretch it out, and then you untwist. Like so. Mm -hmm. <coughs> yeah, I'm so tired. It's like, I'm supposed to be up sooner than this, but hey. And also, I feel like flexi rod sets don't last as long as my perm rod sets either. I'm not quite sure why. Okay. Okay. So this is what we are left with. And there are some that's still just like a tad bit damp and I feel like if I unravel it, it's not going to look like I want to. So I'm going to take my blow dryer. Um, disclaimer, this is not a Dyson. This is not the real Dyson. This is the dupe that I found on Amazon for like, I think. Pretty sure it was over half the price of the real Dyson. For as I know, it does the same thing. It comes with the same attachments that the Dyson comes with. Um, the only name, the only difference that I can tell, because I've never owned a Dyson, I probably never will own a real Dyson. Um, it's just the name. This isn't a Dyson. This actually doesn't have the brand name on it actually but i will have it linked down in the description box below but um yeah i'm just going to 
do this on cool air. good to go we'll see when we start unraveling but fingers crossed this turns out okay this turns out great i need it to last at least two days <laughs> at least two days i'm just gonna take some more jamaican black castor oil and just one drop of it to help with um the separating and fluffing because it's already moisturized and already has some oil on it from last night when we put the rods in so just gonna start in the back and just rub my fingers through it like that and then just separate where it naturally separates that and then go ahead and separate each section as much as it'll separate if that makes sense now, like, I didn't stop at when I separated that first time. I just kept going. And if you have to, just wrap it around a little bit to help the curl. That's fine. Like this again. And that naturally separates. Separate that section. Separate that. Okay. Mm -mm. That one's still damp a little bit at the ends. I feel like I can just never get it 100% dry when I do flexi rice. Like, never. I think that's what turns me off about them. Like, why do you take so long to dry? Like, why is it so deep? <laughs> there you go. Okay. Okay. So, this is where we're at right now. It's a little small. So, I need my wide tooth comb and we're gonna fluff. Just pick a section and I just tease or comb the roots you don't want to drag it out to the ends because that's how you mess up your curls it's just the roots You can do this with heat as well. I just prefer not to. And you can use a pick if you have a pick versus um, a wide tooth comb. I just haven't used a pick in ages. I think I prefer my wide tooth comb. Okay. See the difference in this side versus this side? And I still wish I could get it just a little bit bigger. I wish, but let me just pick up top, underneath, bring them sections together. And then we'll close as much of this as we can as well. When doing this, you can also section your hair off if it works better for you, but I don't want to disturb the curls. 
So I rather just go freely, free style it. For the most part, I think it looks decent. Um, just put the rest of this oil on here. Do a little shake. A good shake is a must. All right, so this is the final look. Let's do a 360 spin. All right, let me know what you guys think down in the comment box below. Also, leave your video suggestions down in the comment box below. Remember, every product used will be linked or at least put in the, um, the description box below. If you have any comments i said leave them in the comment box below <laughs> don't forget to give this video a like and definitely subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye